kind of the sweetest deal going in town. Um, and it's all because we're a community-based organization. As long as we bring in numbers of youth and young adults to our programs. What is your threshold right now in terms of you have to need how many people? Um, there isn't a defined threshold, but on a weekly basis, we report out on 60 plus youth. Um, and the city's been fine with it. Okay. Um, so that's that's kind of we, we try to, to come down here at first and even you know uh, understand what we're doing. But it's grown and you know we've expanded to do youth classes, adult workshops, the whole bit. And like I was uh, I was telling Steve, it's it's just community. I mean they're dancing half the time and half the time we're joking around and and talking about different things and you know people are meeting each other. Um, and I, I find, especially with males of color, there aren't that many spaces where we can come together um, in a non-alcohol, non-drug, you know, non-violent environment and just enjoy each other's company and build community, but we're still doing it around hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Do so, you have uh, long-term goals in terms of uh, oh, can the, you the song? dancing aspect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm launching uh, into my like, uh, Yo, check, check. <laughs> Microphone check. Yes, what are the key kind of, performance index that you have in here? I like that, I like that. Um, for us, it's just being being that resource for the hip-hop dance community. May I put this in your pocket? Sure. You want uh, to close the screen? All right, close it. Uh, Side. Yeah, um, for us, our goal is to be um, the center of the South Bay's hip hop dance community. Kind of south of San Francisco, we, we kind of claim this territory and we want to be the go-to spot uh, for the hip hop dance community. Kind of longer overarching goals is just to um, promote uh, uh, a healthy hip hop culture. We are trying to breed a family friendly, healthy hip hop culture. Now is it just you guys by yourselves or do you guys like work with other community centers? We, we try to keep everything here. Uh, oh, Bob okay. used to work at Allen Rock Community Center for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but since it's kind of our base of operations, we yeah. try to kind of keep everything here and really set up some rules and parameters and consistency. So since 2011, we've been open three days a week, you know, without fail, say for Christmas and, and New Year's. We've been here and the dance community can count on us as a resource. You know, we've never been shut down. We're always here on time. And again, it's this idea of building um, a sustainable community through hip hop, one that's not um, based on things that aren't sustainable. So even here, we don't sell chips anymore. Uh, we stopped selling soda because in the end, we feel like that's not healthy for the dance community and we don't want to promote it. So we switched, you know, we have water, granola bars, um, things like that, you know, which is small. People still gonna eat what they eat, but in terms of what we project, we are trying to project a family-friendly, healthier version of hip-hop. This is not the version of hip-hop, you know? This is a wide swath of things that come under that. But this is just what we're trying to project. And when we're doing it through the city, um, it's, it's creating a new model. We've been able to make some inroads with the city that I, you know, I'm confident in saying that no other hip-hop-based group has been able to do. Because in general, the city has a pretty adversarial um, kind of approach to hip hop culture and hip hop music. Uh, that but brings so many questions. I mean, there's this conundrum in this hip hop culture that is not family friendly, that is not kids friendly. How do you deal with this sort of uh, dichotomy? Hip hop, hip -hop that dance you're is, is the sweet spot. I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper by trade. I've been rapping under the name Dem One for 20 plus years. I could not do this for the rap community because rap is, you know, inextricably linked with, you know, things that are not family friendly. And that's legitimate. I don't, I don't come to say that's not real hip hop because it is, because it speaks to an experience. And it's a real experience. And you know, this is hip hop started in the ghetto with people who had less and were talking about their experiences. Um, hip hop dance is the sweet spot in that 
the folks who come here are coming to work on their craft and it's you really can't be drunk and high and be really good at it um, and it's it's about moving it's about movement it's about beat so we can kind of sidestep um, a lot of the kind of dicier stuff that comes along with rap music or even you know graffiti it would be hard for me to have a group of writers here three times a week and not get the walls written on you know what I'm saying so there there are those antisocial aspects of hip-hop which again I, I don't come to denigrate I say those are our legitimate expressions we focus on hip-hop dance um, and it's kind of been serendipity we found out that this culture in this community you can do a family friendly version of it you know it's more saying? accessible to other communities that aren't African-American and things like that. Oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, hip-hop dance has really become, um, you know, I, I find that the Asian-American community has really taken a lot of ownership in it. And there isn't that kind of wall, again, that you might see in rap. Yeah. You know, it's very, it's a lot easier for people of, of multiple cultures. We have Latino, Asian that come in here and feel like they can access hip-hop dance and not feel like it's not their culture. Um, so again, hip hop dance for us is the sweet spot. I'm not a hip hop dancer, but I am, you know, I, I DJ'd for a long time. I'm a, I'm an MC and just really a proponent of hip hop culture. I, I understand the potential of it. So that's, that's why we're, we're focused on hip hop dance primarily in our after school programs and, and what we do here. What is the next big milestone for this community? I think for us, well, we just reached a milestone um, in that we renewed our agreement with the city. All the reuse service providers had to kind of resubmit to, to get their certification, and we got that. So I feel good about that. Um, milestones for us is to just kind of um, grow our, our evening classes for kids. Uh, we do classes for kids six and up. Um, and that's, that. to me, it seems kind of counterintuitive. But we don't have this kind of big, overarching, you know, thermometer goal. We're gonna, we're gonna get here. For us, it's about sustaining and seeing things happen generationally. Our our intern Billy has been with us since he was in fourth grade. He just graduated high school, you know. But he still has a job here. We're able to pay him to do the work that he does, and we're seeing that now. A lot of this regeneration and kids that have been around our program for you know years and years coming through and becoming teachers and working with us and kind of spreading that. So for us, you know, it's, it's about, you know, sustainability over time, which involves, you know, we are not a nonprofit, we're a company. So we have our business goals to keep, keep people paid and, and keep things going. But for us, it's just about sustainability and, and keeping the essence of this culture alive. We're almost a conservatory. You know, there's nowhere where the, the fundamentals of these different hip-hop dance disciplines are written down. You know, here people can come and kind of work off of each other and multi-generationally come through and, and talk about the different aspects of the dance and show each other. So that's, that's it for us, just to stay around, just to keep doing what we're doing, um, and also, you know, put food on our table doing it. So if I were to put everything in a nutshell, you're basically building a legacy. I, I like